Hey everybody, in this activity, we're actually going to watch a capacitor charge and discharge. As with the experiment from the last DL, there are two versions of this video. The only difference between the versions is the resistance of the resistor in the circuit. Half of you will be working with one version and half of you will be working with the other. The setup of the circuit is as follows. The current will start at the battery, flow through this resistor, then through this capacitor. This voltmeter is measuring the voltage across the capacitor itself. When I plug it in, this capacitor will start to charge. Your job is to take data points in order to make a graph of the voltage across this capacitor as a function of time. When you make this graph, you should see the exponential behavior that we expect. If you need to, you can always pause this video to take the reading but you may have to figure out a way to measure time yourself. The resistance of this resistor is 10 ohms, and the capacitance of this capacitor is one farad. All right, I'm gonna connect this wire to the resistor to complete the circuit. Be ready to take your data points. Ready, set, go. As we expect, the capacitor is charging more slowly the closer it gets to its maximum voltage. In principle, this battery has a voltage of 1.5 volts, and so we would expect our capacitor to reach 1.5 volts as well. However, that might take a while, and the battery might not actually be 1.5 volts, so we'll call this good. So what will happen if I remove the battery from the circuit? Well, if all I do is break the circuit like this, nothing changes. The reason being that the capacitor is charged and there's no way for it to discharge because it's not in a complete circuit. So what we're now going to do is recomplete this circuit and allow the capacitor to discharge. As before, it's up to you to take data points so that you can graph the voltage across this capacitor as a function of time. All right, I'm gonna complete the circuit again. Ready, set, go. As we expect, the speed at which the capacitor is discharging depends on how much charge it has. It's slowing down as we approach zero. We could sit around and wait for it to actually reach zero, but that might take a while. This should be enough for you to take all the data points you need for this activity.